Today I got to ski Alta for only a few hours as they closed in the afternoon due to high winds and heavy snowfall. I figured I would use the rest of the day to put together this video about skiing main chute at Alta last Saturday. Due to the 580 vertical foot hike required to get to the top, it is not as well known as Alta's other signature runs like High Rustler. Fortunately, it is well worth the hike and allows you to check off one of those bucket list runs that appears on most Alta regulars list. It even appears in Andrew McLean's book, The Shooting Gallery, which highlights some of the most hair-raising steeps in Utah's Wasatch Mountains. I totally discourage you from picking up a copy, as it might give some of you bad ideas. Main Chute is not open very often, and so when it is, you will notice a steady stream of skiers hiking from the top of the East Baldy Traverse, or EBT, to the summit of Mount Baldy, as shown in the red line along the ridge at the top of this map. For those in shape and used to the altitude, it's not a bad hike. For those coming from sea level, plan to take 45 minutes or more and stopping every couple feet. Interestingly enough, the easier way to get to the top is coming from the Snowbird Tram, as there is less vertical and a much shorter hike. Once on top, it is not immediately clear which way to ski main chute. If you drop in too early, you will end up in Little Chute, which is not nearly as iconic, nor as much fun to ski. You will still score points for bravery and skill, though. Main Chute has a fairly consistent pitch of 38 to 40 degrees, but it's not too difficult for expert skiers. Once at the bottom, be sure to stop in at the Watson Shelter for a drink of water, and for some, a change of underwear. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as there are more videos on the way.